scouting on my center. No way! No, that's what we're talking about, everyone. I don't know if you can see this, if the light is good enough. We got fish on the ground. We got new friends. What's up, dude? Nice What's your name? Gabe Quintero. Gabe, nice man, to great you. to meet you. We got fires. We got dogs. And we're ready to have an amazing day. Oh, yeah. This is incredible, dude. Let's do it. There he is. Oh, goodness gracious. Holy shnikes. Didn't even get a chance to take a sip of coffee and we already have one on. Addicted water soluble on a chrome. Put a little bit of that on there. Ooh, first cast. I can tell, first cast. Oh, he was munching it. Damn. What was that all about? Greasy move. Greasy move by the old fish there. I guess I should just try this thing really quick. There he is. Got him. Oh, no. So everybody's throwing jigs. Everybody's got jig and shrimp on. And I decided, heck, I want to be a little different. So I put the bead on. We got two lured beads on here. One's orange, one's red. They're both fishing. And I instantly, first cast, caught a fish. So my goal is, I think what I'm gonna end up doing a lot through the day is switching to a lot of the things that people aren't using and going with smaller presentations. I have some really small beads I want to try. I have some addicted uh, Mad River eggs I really want to try and get in there. And I'm just going to start going through the motions as far as that goes. Because uh, these are pretty pressured fish and they've been here. But yesterday was an epic, epic day down here. And today should be about the same. But it might be a little bit different because the water is dropping. Got him. Got him. Oh, got him. Yep. Oh, that's a good one, too. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's like a dolphin. He's like a dolphin. He's running. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. Little missile. Okay, got him. Little missile, dude. <laughs> what do you think, little? What do you think? Get out of there. First one yeah. of the day, everybody. On the bead. Bottom bead action. Let's get that thing out of there. Yeah. Well, just a little rocket of a steelhead. This thing's not the biggest one in the world, but it's gonna taste absolutely delicious. It's the hatchery fish, as you can tell by the, the clipped fin back here. But this is a male, because the males always have the maxillary fin go past their eyeball. So if you can draw a line right to here and it touches your finger, it's usually a male. And I'll show you as we catch maybe some females and stuff today, the differences in between the two, but what a great little steelhead. As you guys saw when I set the hook on that thing, I almost did nothing at all. And that bobber went down and swam away. All I did was start reeling. And I let this fish set hook on itself so that that advantage bead hook could actually get into that fish's mouth and get it hooked properly. So I landed it this time. First fish of the day. Okay, we got ambitions for the next hole. We're moving. Sorry, my life. We're moving down river to a new spot really quick. A friend of ours just walked down here and hooked a couple. So we're gonna see what the action's all about. I think I'm gonna go, oh my God. <sighs> this is my nightmare. Can you help me? Oh, 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 got it. Whew. Okay, we're still alive. <sighs> this is a mess, everybody. This is why we can't have nice things. I think I smell fish. What's in there, dude? Oh, go ahead. What's going in? Oh, what's going on in there? Fish, yeah. I just one. Okay. You got that 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 oil too? That stink? Oh man, you want my sauce? Yeah, I want you to I want you to just set me all the way out. <laughs> I'm man. just joking, bro. So that's what friends are for. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I believe him. <laughs> Let's see a little help from our friend. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
Live action, everybody. Live action. That's why you don't jerk. That's why you don't yank. Right in the camera for you. That was a dream to have. There he is. Oh, God, I almost killed myself. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's twice now. Somebody almost lost an eye. On the nightmare. If you, got, if you catch one with a nightmare, I want the big guy. Okay. <laughs> Going down. Yep, 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 he's already got it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if anybody saw that, but did you see, did anybody see where that fish was compared to my bobber? So my bobber was all the way under this tree here, as you guys can see out in front of me. He ate it, I set the hook, and the fish was right here already. So that, that fish either ate it on the run, or it was just, that's the dynamic of the water down there. That th my beads were getting sucked back under that little vortex of the gravel back in front of that fish and he grabbed it and my bobber was still halfway across the hole. That was absolutely cool. And I set the hook a little too hard there. Key with the beads I find lately especially is to make sure you just reel on them. Don't set hook, don't yank, don't do anything that's causing any sort of, of, of you know, a big fast shot of line coming towards you because it doesn't get that hook to slide right in their mouth like we need it to. What an incredible morning this has been so far. Meeting so many new friends, people that have watched your show for forever. And I gotta say, that's the best part about being in a hatchery environment like this. A lot of times, I try to get away from people, and we all know that. But days like today make it so much fun and so memorable having all these people around. I think the goal is now is to do a little bushwhacking, get moving down the river, and see if we can't find some adventure and some trouble to get ourselves in. Let's do it. This is the real deal, Holyfield, everyone. This is the real deal, little lookout. Okay, we almost got him. We almost got him, ladies and gents. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. We got him. Look at that stud. <laughs> Finally. Dude, worked for it all morning. I've been getting lucky and had a great morning. And this man is working his butt off to try to get this one on the bank. And look. Nope. Come grab it. Heck yeah, dude, man. There we nice go. Nice job. That's what we're working for. It's all about. Out of the log jam, he was hollering up river. All we could hear was boo boo, boo boo. And what were you actually saying? I'll say Help I'll... me! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice fish, dude. That's awesome. Way to go, team. Well, now that he just landed this fish in this log jam, I'm looking around at all these little treasures on the bank. And I can see this log jam. So we have a river wide log jam right here. You can see it goes all the way across. And I can see about 10 bobbers just right now with my naked eye. So I think I'm gonna scurry out on this thing and see what this thing has to offer. A lot of times log jams can offer some of the best river booty on the water because it holds up everything that floats down, especially if you're adjacent to a really heavily fished area. There could be a ton of surprises and, and little gifts from the, the creator and the river gods in these log jams. So I'm gonna step out here. Might be a little risky, wish me luck. Let's see what we find in here. Well, first things first, Dead seagull. <laughs> That's a little weird, a little creepy. So I'm gonna be very careful. So do not try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the smartest hour of Jordan, but it could be the most beneficial because there's a lot of bobbers in here. Do not ever try to walk on log jams like this usually because it is very, very nasty structure and stuff that you really don't want to be standing on because a lot of times it has nothing under it. And what I mean by that is, oh, oh, got it. Bobber number one. Setup number one. Super cool. Oh, nightmare jig, score. Nightmare jig with prawn still on it. This thing is ready to fish. Guys, this is RTF, ready to fish. Funny though, poor seagull. Dead seagull and one bobber so far. Oh, bobber number two. We have sights on bobber number two. I'm just gonna scooch out here. See if I can get a nice little stance. Bobber number two in the books, everybody. Bobber number two. I wonder how many fish I'm gonna see as I crawl out here like this. Okay, we're going. Well, this feels pretty sturdy. Feeling pretty sturdy. Okay, 
Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff here. Let me see if I can put my foot down. Right there, we're looking good. We got, what do we have here? A couple of corkies. I think I'm gonna start moving this stuff around a little and digging in all the smaller material and see really what's in there other than fish. Oh, nothing there. We got, oh, look what we have here. We got bobber number three, bobber number four, back to back. Oh, there's some big old fat steelhead sitting right here. Guys, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, Attic, but this, this is just a giant wad of steelhead. I can see them all underneath me here too. Holy moly. Okay, I might have to go grab a rod, Attic. We found some really cool stuff in here. I'm gonna keep looking in just a second, but I also just found the most bad A fishing spot you've ever seen in your life. So I'm gonna grab a rod. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these things. Wow, just found another really cool thing. On my way to try to catch this fish, and it is this a piece of artwood. Look at how beautiful this thing is. And I broke it. What a dummy. What a unique shape though. I think I'll keep it anyways. That thing will look really, really neat, like a little mantelpiece type thing. It can like sit perfectly somewhere, have a little maybe a crappie or something mounted in it. Look how beautiful that root is. I'm taking that. Yeah, that's just, this is really crazy. This is one of the craziest things I've ever done steelhead fishing. So let it be known, it's documented. Alex is trying to cross the river for me so that he can get this shot for you guys from the opposite side. But I can see about, oh, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can see about 30 fish right here with my naked eye. Uh, and I'm going to find a way to catch one of them. And I'm in the middle, in the midst, the heart of a log jam right now. So I do not know how this is going to go. Oh, my God. Don't move too much. Don't move too much. They see you. Alex is getting in position. Okay, here we go. Bone arrow cast. Try to get a little bit closer here. Perfect. Oh my God, big chrome steelhead. I gotta get in there like right now. Oh God. Oh God, that's a nice one. Please stay there. Oh, my line's tangled on my reel. He's not there anymore. Son of a gun. Well, log jam fish did not work, everybody. Fail on the log jam catch. But I didn't really have the right tools I would say in that situation I kind of wanted like a jig or or something that wasn't connected uh, to a bobber like that to get in there but this log jam did prove to have some pretty interesting stuff in it dead birds garbage which we picked up don't be littering out there everybody oh my god I didn't think I just found something else though okay okay I don't know if you can see this everybody but there's a bunch and I mean a bunch of steelhead right there I don't know how fast I can get my gear down in there though. That's gonna be the hard part. I'm gonna just take a little knee here. Oh, I have one coming for it. That's a steelhead too. That steelhead wants it. That is a really nice chrome steely everybody. Very interesting here, addicts. Being able to watch this fish and how it reacts. I'm gonna put the Addicted Winter Chrome Blend on here and see what and how they react to it. Let's see if that made a difference. Instantly, instantly I got rowdy fish in there. They turned and moved. Got one, I got one, I got one in the logs. That's a big one, that's a big one everybody. That's a big steelhead. 
I got one in the log. In the log. Hog on a log, guys. Hog on a log. Alex, I think you saw that. I think, Little, what are you doing? You're gonna fall in and die. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, everyone, but I'm gonna do it. I got a really nice feely. <laughs> everybody! Okay, how I'm gonna land this, I have no clue, everyone. But I'm gonna do my best. Wow, okay, 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 we're doing this, we're doing this, this is happening. This is really happening. And we saw it, guys, it was this instant, the instant I put on the Addicted Winter Chrome Blend scent, sent it back in there. Fish started freaking out, running around in circles, making, making a big fuss. Oh, wow. Look at how cool this fish is. I'm gonna have to just grab it right by the belly here. Oh, tickler, tickler just right. And there it is. There it is, everyone. An absolute <laughs> stunner of a fish. Addicts, that might've been the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Total hog on a log. This log jam did not disappoint. Let me help him. Let me help him. There you go. There you go. Got it. He's on bottom. That sucked because I got everything too wet. <laughs> oh, what's going through your mind there? So I was enjoying an apple and he got his butt whipped by a giant and then went for a swim for it. Today has been an absolutely incredible, epic, monumental glorious day and with that being said i have a special very exciting announcement to give all you people out there that love watching the addicted channel because tomorrow we're going to be in the same area with a different guide hiking this river and having an amazing day filming my very first episode for the new channel stay fishy it's more of a vlog style of just me and little's lives and what it's like to come out here and do this it's going to be a little sillier it's going to be a lot of fun and there's going to be a ton of adventure it's going to be much more based around travel food culture and of course, fishing. Fishing is why we're gonna be going to these places and why we're gonna be making these videos. But the main idea behind all this is just gonna be showing you how much fun it is to live this sort of life and meet these kind of people and experience the things that Mother Nature brings to us along the way. So I'm so excited for you guys to be on the lookout for that. Be sure to subscribe to the link in the description. This channel will go up first and then we'll be getting some subs on there and then we'll start putting the videos in coming soon. So very exciting news, you guys. Let's enjoy this fish. This has been an incredible day. Boys, I think it's time to eat, huh? Little sure thinks so. He's snuggling up next to the fire. Let's see how this thing looks. Wow. Look at this golden brown, everybody. Just got an incredible color to it. You can see how it's all flaking apart. My mouth is actually watering right now. I'm drooling. Got some fellow addicted fans, Mason, with us here. He had to cross the river for a picture and some fish. Let's eat this thing. Yes, sir. Come on, everybody. Amazing. You are my friend. Oh, thank you. Eating like cavemen today with our hands. Oh, that's good. There you go, brother. Heck yeah, team. What an incredible day. That is incredible. You can see that little layer of smoke it almost puts on there. It's a little bit of a char. So incredibly good. Mm. There you go, Augie. Thank you. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, you go, Little. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, back. We were... What an incredible day it has been. And it's so awesome to be down here with all of our new friends enjoying this fish over a fire. If you guys want to see more awesome catch and cooks just like this one, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and comment below on what your favorite part of today's video was. And you could be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.